What's up everyone? It's the one Jamin. Today we are playing Jund Midrange. This is going to combine a couple of my favorite cards to play with, Geological Appraiser and Gix Yogmoth Praetor. We have an aggressive game plan and not as many removal spells because we're going to combine Inti Seneschal of the Sun with Glissa Sun Slayer. Is it ironic that both of them have sun in it or maybe just a coincidence? I don't know, but Inti combined with Glissa means that it gives Glissa Trample in plus one plus one and first strike death touch and trample is a force to be reckoned with makes glissa basically unblockable and an unblockable glissa is basically where you want to be we have removal spells like cut down a note with affliction and go for the throat we also have um interaction with deep cavern bat we all of course have nt and maswa dread knight on turn two as turn two plays which makes Gix even better since deep cavern bat has flying NT can get Trample with its own ability, and Moswood Dread Knight already has Trample, so all of our two drops are going to be getting in for damage, which makes Gix even better. We have two Preacher of the Schism, two Sentinel of the Nameless City, and three copies of Glissa in our deck to make sure it, we draw one when we have NT. We also have the four drops, which are Shields of the Apocalypse and Unleash the Inferno, which is a good card right now since a lot of people are playing enchantments and artifacts to deal seven damage to a creature or walker, and then when it's dealt excess damage this way destroying an artifact or enchantment they control with mana value less than or equal to the amount of excess damage very good card four copies of geological appraiser to discover into all our other kind of goodies here and then one aquas lots one nissa and ascended animus to take over the game in the late game when we're playing the control role in our mid-range deck we have all of these lands which i'm not going to go too far into but i wanted to play the green the green black creature land because it's the best one and i also wanted to play 17 Red sources for your geological appraiser and 19, um, un 19 black sources to cast Gix and our sideboard cards on curve like Liliana of the Veil of Malicious Eclipse, which you need. So this deck does have 19 black sources. Let's count them together. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 plus, plus 8 is 19. And then we have 17 red sources. 4, 5, 9 plus 8 is 17. Uh, so uh, our sideboard is a cut, another cut down, two duresses, a Liliana, a Lord Skidder, a Skewer King for the Golgari matchup and the Graveyard matchups, two Malicious Eclipse, uh, which doesn't exile our own board, but exiles our opponent's board, which is very good. Three Lim Lilimentic Barrage, one Terra Sunder, one Unlicensed Hearse, one Squee Dubious Monarch, one, un one more Unleashed Inferno, and one Cruelty of Gix for the Red Black Ramp deck and for the domain deck so anyway let's go ahead and get into the matches and let's jund them out it all starts right now coolstuffinc.com is a proud sponsor of this channel and you can show your support while getting five percent off your entire order and a free the one james goblin shaman token by using the code james5 at checkout need singles for constructed or kitchen table play looking to pick up sealed product or the latest in magic accessories we've got you covered CoolStuffInc.com is the place for all your Magic the Gathering needs, and support me by using the code JAMES5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. We're on the play. You gonna keep this and try to spike the land? Uh, not, not hitting the land would be terrifying against this deck. And we hit the land. Absolute geniuses over here. Let's take the lightning strike so we don't get our Glissa lightning strike, but we can't block the chicks anyway. Boom chickalicka. Or shakalaka. Whatever you want. I'm curious of why they didn't play the Mishra's Foundry there. Oh, they needed to play double chick. Ooh, we have two anoints. We're attacking because we're not blocking. And then, uh... Guess we'll play out the Glissa? Because it does draw a land if we don't actually hit our land drop and it blocks a Swiss Spear. We'll take two from the Chicks. Unless they have Lightning Strike right now. Or Witch Doctor Frenzy. That would really suck. Don't do it. Oh, they're not attacking with Swiss Spear, which means they didn't draw removal. They drew a Kumano. What's up, Brea? Good to see ya. Mosswood Dread Knight. I will be attacking with both of these. And I think I'm destroying the Kumano instead of drawing a card. I kind of want to draw a card. Oh, they're blocking with the Swiss Spear? Jeez. Oh. Whoa. Sure. 
Am I playing out this? I'm just gonna hold up. I'm just gonna hold up a night. I don't feel like dying to chicks in a freaking land. Play out the Sokin Zan. Oh, that's a juicy anoint target. Juicy! Oh, we drew the land on top of it! Oh, it's so powerful. And we got the bat for the last card in their hand that's not a land because they played Sokin Zan. Oh my god, Drake! Oh! Jund out successful? No Gix. Glissa's really bad against freaking Lightning Strike. Really, really bad against Lightning Strike. Eclipse, cut down. We don't even have time to tear us under, do we? Duress. Kind of do want to cut an Inti on the draw. I don't even like Inti on the draw at all. We don't have many options though. Ever bringing Terra Sunder in or like a second Unleash the Inferno? Like, this card's awful, right? Liliana seems bad with a bunch of Phoenix chicks in their deck. I guess I bring in the removal spell over the NT because NT literally does nothing. I guess Liliana will be a removal spell for us. Um, this has one removal spell. It needs like one land to be like a like really good, and we're on the draw. Hopefully, it's a green source though. We don't need green yet, but I'd like it. There's a land. Not a green mana. This deck's mana base is so greedy we can't play Besage or anything like that, but... Ooh, we drew green mana. Two mana do nothing, huh? Guess I'm passing. I would play out the Dread Knight here, but it's too likely that they have a removal spell. Barrage not do enough first mono red? Lithomancer Barrage, I guess, does one damage, but it doesn't kill anything reliably. I mean, if they're just gonna, if I'm just gonna take one damage on turn three, I'm okay with that. Furnace Punisher? Alright, that thing's dead. Another Copper Line Gorge. Wow, we're just getting rewarded. And then hopefully they don't have Wish Doctor Frenzy, but I guess if they have Wish Doctor Frenzy on this, they don't have it for, like, other things. We're gonna take two damage from this. Restless Cottage. Let's, uh, let's play Appraiser and see if we can get a removal spell off the top. We got a Glissa, that's pretty good. How do they beat that card? They're blocking it? I have Death Touch! Ah, yes. Alright, I want a basic land. I want to draw a basic land. So I don't keep taking damage off this Furnace Punisher. We already killed one. But hey, Appraiser into... Whoa! They're letting us double block the, the Furnace Punisher. No, they're not. They have a Frenzy for the Gliss. Oh, no. Oh, that can't be good. Can't be good at all. Ow. Try again. Removal spell. 
I guess that I guess that's a three two. Oh no! How do we beat two furnace punishers? I need a basic land. That's a Glissa. Uh. I guess I'll get lifelink this way if they're not going to attack. And then next turn I'll attack with Restless Cottage and then gain a life with the food. We might just be dead right now though if they have four damage. That's one damage. That's not enough. Actually one damage gets through if they attack all, but then they lose. Ow, ow, ow. That is not good. Alright, if we attack all of that block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, plus 3 is 19 damage. If they block this, they take 15. They can just chump block with the Swiss Spear and I die. They chump block with the Swiss Spear. I make a 1-1 one, one blocker. I go to 4 with this. And I take damage from Furnace Punisher for lethal. Oh, I win this game. I need one, two, three, four blockers. Six blockers. This is six blockers if I just attack with these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can't take any damage? Sure, I guess these are my only attacks. And then if they don't kill me, I win. They have to do two damage to me somehow. If they have it, they have it. Oh, they don't have two damage? Maybe they do. Don't two damage me. No! 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 Terrible. Terrible. That was awful. All right, Terra Sunder, get in here. That was crazy. I still would have won that game somehow. Guess we'll keep this. Need double red eventually, so I guess this is my land sequence. I was gonna play the Restless Cottage, but we might need double red. Maybe I should have played off the Dread Knight as a 3 2 there. Never mind, I'm happy I did this.
No, they made a freaking treasure. I thought they targeted I thought they targeted something. With the with the with the token. Is that mistaken? The forge. I guess I should wait for a Punisher, shouldn't I? For this? that while wow, their hands all gasoline what they have a, they have a play with fire play around play with fire I guess Crap, cut down so bad right now. No, it's not. I thought it didn't kill a Swiss beer for a second, but it does. Second forge? Good thing Glissa takes forge counters off. I realize it has trample, but I just want to gain the life. Oh, cool. We can get Terra Thunder off this? Or not. Double chick? They've been they've just been hoarding two chicks. If this gets play with fire, I don't care. They probably have play with fire, yeah. They've had that the whole time. I'm aware. I'd rather go to my creature than go face. Oh wow. At least the inferno. Does work. Am I attacking with everything? No, I'll hold an appraiser back to block the this forge. Oh my god, they can bring the chick back. That's real bad for me. Wait, can they bring the chick back? Or is it three is it three creatures? I mean, I win the game if they have nothing. So I just don't block. I don't block with appraiser then. I guess they have to have lightning strike and play with fire in hand. Uh, so I win the game with double with double go for the throat.
Sick. Cool match. Very nice. Russell Scott is turn one, and then we have tapped fast lands, but that's fine. Uh-oh. Untap land, because we might need to cut down the 2 2 that they make. Oh, they just let me do it? Sure, I'll take the virtue then. Unfortunately, we can't pay the war on cut down, but that's fine. Sleeper? I'd love to cut that down. But I think I just need to cut down Rafine. Do I need to cut down Rafine? Because we're playing Appraiser next turn. Yeah, I have to cut down Rafine no matter what. I would love to play Appraiser this turn, but Rafine's too good. We can also play Appraiser next turn. What's up, Hot Ice? They're gonna pump it twice, but they can't get the draw out of it yet. What does Long Goodbye do? Not Power World, but I'm broke. What is Ayara's Oath Sworn? Is this gonna counter when it attacks? Combat damage, if it has fewer than four 1 1 counters, put a counter on it. Then if it has exactly four counters on it, search your library for a card, put it in your hand. Give me something that's not a bat, please. Thank you. I would like to kill Sleeper. One black uncounterable kill creature, Planeswalker, mana value, three or less. Oh yeah, that's that card. The thing is, it's just like Eliminate. It's just like Eliminate, but it's uncounterable, which is like good. Wow, they drew Gix. Which is, like, good against Rafine, but it's worse than Anoint with Affliction in every other way. Gotta hope they don't kill this. They could just go no blocks, but then they can't draw with Gix. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw a card. I'm going to gain life in their upkeep. Because I don't want them to draw Tidebinder for my food. Uh, in eternal formats, it's worse than Abrupt Decay. So it won't get, it won't get played. I guess it'll get played in decks that 
don't play green, but it's also worse than Solitude, so I don't think it gets played in any Eternal formats. I think it's just worse than Anointment anoint Affliction. And, like, it's also worse than Fatal Push, so... Like... I don't think it gets played in any... I don't think it... I honestly don't think it gets played in anything besides Draft. Alright, so... Just a bunch of black creatures and Rafine and white creatures. So Lithomantic... Playing low to the ground. Maybe Malicious Eclipse is good. Cut down Lily. That's it. Nissa's a little bit better against this deck, but they still have enough flyers to where we have to care about it. We're going to be on the defensive here, so I think we're cutting all of these. And we'll just go with Unleashed the Inferno because they could be playing Schooner. Sure. Uh, let's keep this and hope to spike a land. We have 26 lands, so you can keep two landers on the draw like this and be relatively okay. We even have two redraws. Bat. No bat. We drew the land. Black Sun's Twilight. Wow. I haven't seen that card in a minute. Mental misplay, thanks for the raid. Appreciate you. That's a preacher. Are we drawing a card or making a blocker? I think I'm drawing a card just to hit my fourth land drop. Hey. I'm, I'm, I can't block the preacher anyway. Yikes. Okay, fine. I want to block the preacher. Jesus Christ. I can't even Liliana them any either because they have a freaking 1-1. No! Stop it! I'm dead. I'm dead already. They have, they have a Void Red in hand. Yikes. Next game. That's how good Gix is. You play the card, you win the game. Oh, man. We're so dead. I'm just gonna scoop. All right. On the play, I do want to be proactive. So most of the quotes is bad because we they just showed us that they're not playing a bunch of flyers. Take out a Glissa, take out an Inferno. Wow, Lithomantic Barrage does nothing to what they just did. We're playing all black cards. I guess Barrage is terrible. It's only good against Rafine. Alright, I'm taking it out. Gix comes back in, MT comes in, and Nissa comes back in. On the play. Is there a one mana bite card in green? What does it do? We're gonna keep this because we have turn two bat, turn three Gix, and that's like the nuts. Jamil, Night Clubber. What? Gotta take the go for the throat, though. Nightclubber is gonna kill the bat, but not before it draws a card. Let's say just drew a rule spell. No shot. Okay.
They can't even cast the clever yet. They don't have a double black. Nice. They, oh, oh, they can they can haste the clever. They can blitz it. They're probably gonna blitz the clever, right? So they get their go for the throat back. And they can go for the throat the gix. If they don't do that, I'll be surprised. Because casting Preacher is pretty bad into, like, any removal spell, which I have. Yep. And I'm, they're going to attack with the Clubber, and I'm not going to block, because we, we both have two twos. So yeah, it, it killed the thing and drew a card, which was very good. Man. Tap land galore. I would love to play Appraiser here, but it is what it is. Attack with Gix. 3 plus 1 of value. Do this. Do this. It is a really sus to play four Restless Cottage and four Zero Two Taurus Proving Ground, but I figured since we're playing twenty six lands, we'll get value out of the cycle sometimes, and I think this is the best creature land in the game. In in standard, okay, so they're gonna go for the throw either one of these, but I think I'm okay with that because like either way, I'm gonna draw a card. Maybe I should have also attacked with the land. But I kind of want to play Appraiser. Ooh. Is Appraiser better than just going Mosswood, Mosswood? I think Mosswood, Mosswood's like better. Since if they had something in play that I wanted to kill, like Appraiser gets kill spells. So if they had something in play I wanted to kill, I'd probably go for Appraiser. But I, li I like the draw plus play 3-2. There's a Schooner. That's a Gix. They can have a Flash creature and block with this. That'll be a nightmare scenario for our Dread Knight. We can also go like Appraiser Land. And Appraiser can draw us Anoint with Affliction. And Terra Sunder. We sideboarded out our Terra Sunder. They have a, if, they have the, if they have a Flash creature, it's really bad for us. I'm going Gix anyway. Because, like, if they flash creature, uh, kill our Dread Knight, we'll just draw a card with the Dread Knight anyway. If they don't have a flash creature, it's pretty good. Alright, sounds good, Brea. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. We'll draw a card off this. Dread Knight. And now we get to play a Dread Knight. We're just going to overwhelm the board right now. Preacher. Yep. Both Sworn. Yep. Okay. Double go for the throat. Pretty good. We can't double go for the throat and appraiser. I think I want to go for Appraiser, because if we hit a bat, we take Chamil, and Chamil's really strong. Oh, yes. Perfect. Literal perfect.
And I think I'm playing a tap lane here because I'm going to want to use all my mana next turn. Sick. Nice. All right, guys, thank you very much for hanging out. That was a blast. Geological Appraiser just adds a really good firepower to this deck and allows it to be aggressive when you need to and find answers when you need to as well. You saw Geological Appraiser find the Anoint with Affliction we needed for the Schooner. Uh, and you also found Geological Appraiser get cards like Preacher and, and Sentinel off the top. That's very, very good value. Uh, and we didn't get to a lot of Inti stuff and we didn't even get to Inti plus Glissa, but that is an option you can do with this deck, obviously. But uh, Inti did... Uh, did draw us a, bunch, a couple cards, and uh, it seemed pretty good. We, we don't get much value out of the discard with Inti, but it does give things trample, which is very relevant. Um, anyway, I, li I like this deck. I mean, we, we won most of the games that we played. We did lose a game to, like, a crazy combo deck, but um, this deck isn't going to do too well against, uh, like, combo control anyway. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the next one. I'll see you over there. Check out the deck list down, down in the description below if you want to try it out for yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, peace.